Hello and welcome. My name is Ajax Post and we're back here in Bristol with Transport Fever 2 and we're following what is quite a short little suburban line really from Bedminster here to uh, to Brandon Hill. Here it is. But it's turned into something very, very popular. As you can see there's a big man waiting there and that big man is a whole host of people not wanting to go to our main station of Temple Meads but they're actually waiting to take that short suburban route 65 people and I have a train which currently carries 28 I'm thinking I might need to upgrade that train so that I think is on the cards for today the other thing on the cards uh, I don't think I need to worry too much about our last big effort which was getting the route to Bath Spa completed again uh, that appears to be going okay uh, actually but let's just check there aren't that many people waiting at bath but um the, the whole line a whole line as a the line as a whole let's get it out right um does seem to work quite well so if we check that line profitability 633 that's good finances they're down a little bit but that, I think, is due to the extra length for maintenance costs and so on that's involved in running uh, bigger and faster trains uh, for that longer distance. Uh, and I, I do start to worry somewhat, and we saw this when we first started playing the map, if these multi-stop routes are a good thing, or if that you really to make real money you need in transport fever 2 to run simple point to point routes and just hand people over from one service to the next to the next to the next and make money that way it's it's, it's not very elegant and it doesn't sort of fit well with someone who, who enjoys traveling by train and getting off at all sorts or not getting off at all sorts of interesting stations en route from place a to place E, F, G, H, whatever, down down the line. Um, but we'll leave that for the time being. The main thing I want to look at uh, today is returning to the Seven Beach line. Again, we're seeing lots of big men waiting, or big people. <laughs> they do kind of look male to me. Um, yeah, does that say something about me? Yeah, is, is that the age I was born in or whatever? <laughs> anyway, why am I saying these things? Um, yeah, there's lots of people who want to travel from Clifton Down through Shirehampton. Mostly, for some strange re reason, from Shirehampton to Clifton Down. Uh, there's less interest in going down that line in Avonmouth. So, we've only got a small train on there, wherever it is at the moment. There he is. Let me click it. Click it. Uh, 35. And he's not that small, but he's um, he could be bigger. If we're going to take advantage of all these people here, we need a bigger train. And the other, so the other thing then is what we've been hinting at for a while is extending this line from Clifton down through to Avonmouth, all the way up to Seven Beach, which is where it's supposed to go. Now I did say at some point in an earlier episode is right we'll get to Seven Beach and then we will cross to Wales we'll take the Seven Tunnel uh, over to Wales what I hadn't realized at that point and I've only just done some research into okay what trains actually go to Seven Beach and where can you get to from Seven Beach and the answer is basically nowhere you can either go back into this sort of southwest of Bristol uh, on the Seven Beach line here to Clifton Down to Temple Meads and so on, or you can take a route back to Bristol Parkway north of the, the city here. It's actually a line from Parkway itself that goes across to Wales. It goes close to Seven Beach. I mean, the tunnel is about here somewhere, um, but there is no direct link from the Seven Beach station to that tunnel and then across to Wales. So we will be doing that and there will be lots of regeneration of our city. <laughs> it's a polite way of putting it um, in building the, the final sort of routes that I want out of Bristol and around Bristol. But first off, let's uh, have a look at this Brandon Hill train and I've lost it already. See what we can do with you. So there you are. 
let's bring you over here let's manage this vehicle what can we do with you I want to replace you so what are you at the moment you are a 242 four foot six inch tank uh, still we're in 1885 we're coming up to the end of 1885 uh, again I'm not sure if there are any really good new trains coming along but uh, I think we have got some in 1890 particularly uh, that uh, that uh, are going to be very useful to us uh, you travel currently we're traveling at 47 Dun! be nice if we could go faster I think certainly we need more powerful so we can put more wagons on the back uh, and you are currently 232 so you'd be good you're slower but more powerful what's our latest selection of local oh <laughs> yes uh, that one I think oh, actually that's mm, not a million, a million million a million and a half that's not too expensive uh, you're more expensive, but you look smaller. I mean, this one looks fabulous, doesn't it? But I'm not sure Midland train, well, none of these trains in terms of the, the livery are appropriate for this line, to be fair. 60, don't need 60. It's only a small suburban line. Uh, yeah, yeah, we're not seeing a great deal of really good stuff here. You're interesting, actually. 50 miles an hour, 350 kilowatts. Yeah, you could be okay. Um, I just want to double check that our train is our train still on the on the list here, so I can double check its performance. No, I don't think I can. No, it's gone. They don't seem to last very long. These trains, do they? Uh, no, no, no. He's a... Oh, there he is. All right. Attractive effort, 36. Aha! Uh -huh. Right, so you are significantly less powerful than whatever it was I was looking at just there. I do wish I could remember what I was looking at when... when no, not you. You. I think I was looking at you, wasn't I? What are your current maintenance costs? Difficult to tell from there. Oh, you are just one above the other. You're, uh, yeah, 50 plus percent more expensive to run. But then again, going faster, I think you might be a good choice to replace. Okay, we will stick you on there. All right, so what wagons have we got at the moment? We've got the generic six-wheeler. So that will be you, I imagine. Yep. Yeah. Uh, you carry how many have we got we've got on there four I'm carrying 28 so that's seven apiece so yeah that is these wagons here uh, okay 60 is too fast 75 is far too fast we don't need anything that goes quite that fast now the Bavarian no that's too slow the long express coach it's not an express route that's the thing I mean I mean I'm being particularly finicky here aren't I uh, we could use you you are going far too fast but you do carry an extra passenger you know, I'd like to keep it sort of British style at least okay we'll go for these uh, the generic four wheel late wagons they go too fast for our loco but what the heck they carry one more passenger so we want a front brake what are you we will take a first class we'll take one of you we'll take a couple of third classes yeah I mean to be honest the performance here you see goes down to mediocre fairly quickly uh, and a rear brake at the end and you so there we are that's 40 so that's that's a nice increment in capacity uh, the performance is still mediocre so it gets 50 miles an hour in 91 seconds as opposed to yeah 46 in five minutes is this this particularly 
relevant for this sort of route. It's a bit up and down to be honest, but I don't think it is. So let's can I actually can I afford this? No. <laughs> okay, let's take take out some more money. Okay, I had repaid some loan, but uh, we had come out of that. Okay, so let's uh, replace you. There you go. Sweet. Sounds good. Yep, yeah, they are indeed lovely wagons. There aren't quite as many people travelling in the other direction coming from Brandon Hill, but there's a fair number. Yeah. Okay, there's 40. <laughs> That's fine. Yeah, we're doing very nicely there. Any people left? There were a few people left. And at the other end, we currently have... 77 waiting. That That's fine. That will carry on working very nicely indeed. Right. Oh, the other thing that I was thinking about again before we started this episode was the cargo route here, the Conmat going into Shirehampton. Might actually cope with it. We've got boat coming in now, carrying 56. There's currently 30 waiting. Yeah, the trouble is we do still have the slow and low capacity wagons here. We're going to need to put trains in there, I think, um, unless we get much better road transport sometime soon. Um, but we, we will see how that pans out. Uh, yeah, you're coping, I think, at the moment. Right, so let's pause this. Let's see where we want to... Oh, we were going to double track this what I was going to do wasn't it first off uh, it is double track pretty much all the way there this bit needs double tracking to get into there so we can put more trains on what's your capacity actually 35 uh, again you're a mediocre performance I think yep let's let's double track this we'll get this up to uh, 7 Beach I'm going to need to take out loan again. <laughs> we will get this job done. Okay, so we need to get rid of that bit of track and that bit of track. Let's get you laid, as it were. Come on, here we go. And up here. And we're going to need to, yeah, configure this station, I think, aren't we? Only lines in both directions, so we want more track. Actually, I'm just thinking, could we put a cargo station in here? and use that to supply. I mean, it could then cut straight across to Portbury. Um, Patchway, that's a bit of a, a trek perhaps, but it could do that. Or up there. That might work. Okay, let's see if I can actually lay this out. So we still want two passenger platforms here, I think, ideally, to get trains through quickly. So what we want is a passenger platform here. Let's just see if this will actually fit. Okay, and then track, track, track. There we go. And can I now put... Oh, actually, I want more track, I think. Oh, no, I'm not sure this is going to fit. Unless, of course, we have the cargo platforms stretching out from the other side of the station here. Can't, no, 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 I can put it there. I could possibly go into terrain modification and build this up. So it's possible, so if I put you there. No, it's not going to work from there. Is it, I think? 
that's the problem. No, we might get to deal, might get to that and do it that way in the future, but not right now. But that will mean plat that will mean terrain modification. Okay, we. Uh, we don't actually need steps, but we'll put steps in here because it just looks better aesthetically. Uh, so, where are the steps? Are they in here? Miscellaneous. Uh, there you go. Are you the right sort of steps? No, you're not. You're absolutely not the right sort of steps. So uh, they are actually on the platform here, aren't they? Uh, so wait, our ah, waiting room. Ah, there they are, with underpass. Yeah, I, I need to delete the existing one. Yep. Why can't I put you in there? Oh. Oh. <laughs> I totally misunderstood what was going on there. Right, put you in there. Right, it is an addition to the platform. I just wasn't seeing it clearly enough. Right, that that's better. Yep, everything's the right colour. Splendid. Okay. So, let's get our regular track put back into place I need you to come into there It'd be nice if our depot could supply both up and down lines can we do that from there well, we can it's not what you call fast but actually no let's let's see if we can take that back a little bit Try it a bit better. Go okay, from there, say. Oh yeah, I like that. That's that's a much nicer curve. It's a little bit faster as well. Uh, not that that's particularly important, but the whole thing just looks that much more elegant. Okay, and we'll probably double switch that in case we want to send vehicles back to the depot, which really isn't something you do anymore in Transport Fever 2, which is kind of a shame, but, you know, that, that's the way the game works. Uh, so put some signals on the depot exit. That's good. Uh, right, do we need signals here? We might as well put them on, to be honest. So we'll put some signals there. And some signals there. And coming out of the station. Why not? Okay. Let's get our track up here. Now where are you going to go? You're going to Seven Beach. So we'll curve round here. We'll just put you in there as a placeholder for the moment. Where's our station going to go? It's going to be... Uh, it might as well be a terminal terminal station, actually, if we're not going beyond Seven Beach. Uh, again, I know there are a few people who watch these videos who are much more familiar and knowledgeable about railway history than I am. And to be honest, that's not difficult. Um, uh, but if So if you actually know more about Seven Beach and the stations around here, how they're actually configured, please do let me know in the comments below. It'd be very interesting to find out. As, as I said, I do do some research in, into these, these stations and the way the lines work, but I am by no means an expert and sometimes just say, oh, let's just play the game, <laughs> not worry about accuracy. Now, the thing here is, I think, yeah, that's the residential area, so we don't really want a station there. could do with it here. And the thing is, if we're going to send trains back out to Parkway from here, which is there, Ideally, the platform would be something along those lines. So would it be... I think it might... Uh, we're going to have track them going past the residential area. Which is going to give us an issue with emissions, perhaps. We could put it 
down here. Though I'm thinking it's nicer here, to be honest. Yeah, let's let's do that. Uh, so we're going to need at least two tracks. Platform length of 160. Why not? It needs to be brown because that's our colour still. Okay. Uh, building size. Yeah, it's just a little suburban station, little out of the way place. Uh, so, yep, that looks good to me, I think. So we'll stick you in there. Okay, job done. Uh, we don't need any more rail. Uh, we, no, this is the ordinary track, isn't it? Yeah, that's good. We don't need you anymore. Okay. And yeah, actually, no, that looks like it will work okay, I think. We'll send you out there. And down here, I am on, yeah, that track there. That's good. So this is the upper track, as it were, but the down from Seven Beach. So I'll slip you in there. And can I get a bigger loan? Where's my track gone? There it is. Can I just line you up like that? I can. That's quite nice and elegant. That works okay. Uh, we'll get rid of this bit of road. I don't think we need to do this so much in Transport Fever 2. It was an issue in, in the first Transport Fever that if you try to lay track over road it would put unsightly humps and bumps in your track. But uh, in this version of the game it seems like it's the other way around the track has precedence in terms of the levels okay that's good and coming out of here we're going to need to can I get that across there like that and then send you back out to there that seems to be working okay good let's get this completed This is a very long stretch of rail and it's going to a very small little place. <laughs> it's a village here uh, which has road links to Pilning uh, and that's it really. It doesn't even get freight so yeah the demand for, for rail traffic here is going to be limited I think. But there you are. Okay, so let's uh, put some signals on here. Uh, there we go. That way around. Uh, that way around. Let's just put a few in down the line. It was mentioned in the comments that I perhaps ought to switch to one-way signals, uh, which for one thing, will prevent my routes rerouting themselves, my lines rerouting themselves, uh, when I change uh, the track arrangement. But uh, yeah, I'm, as you can see, I'm just being very lazy here. I could, I could just click the yes there, but uh, I, I like them being three-way. <laughs> um, we'll stick the the signal there just in case. So yeah, that's good. And we're going to need some along here. By the side of the bridge. That's okay, I think. Got them in there. So what's the arrangement going into? Okay, that looks good. I think we should be okay to, to run track, uh, run two trains down there, or indeed more. So what's the problem with my line? I think it just needs me to start the game again. No. Could not connect all stations. Okay. What stations are you not connecting? Shirehampton to Avonmouth.
Really? Ah, oh, okay, coming this way. Why is that a problem? Do have... There's no break in the line, is there? So it comes there. Uh, it will go along there. So why can you not get to platform one? That's what it's saying the problem is. Uh, manage the line. Oh, is there no... switch here? Ah, yes, it needs to switch into... Actually, it doesn't need to because what we're going to do, we're going to go from Avonmouth to... Where are we? Seven Beach here. No, add the station, Seven Beach. Then back to Avonmouth. Back to Shirehampton. And then Clifton Down. There are no warnings anymore, so everything's traveling on the wrong line. <laughs> yeah, perhaps you were right. Perhaps I do need to invest more time with one-way signals. Okay, so if I change no, don't. I change you to one way. Okay, so you're coming out of there. You go along there. You get to... Ah! Platform 2, that's it. <laughs> uh, except it can't... No, it can't then get to... Avon Mass platform two. No. Why have I got there are not three platforms here? There are not three platforms. There are. Why are there three platforms here? Whoa, is there is this a little bugette? due to the uh, addition earlier of a cargo line where I did have two tracks down there. So where are these? Where's... I must admit, I really did not expect to be spending time doing this. So if we put you on three. Ah, it's gone. Okay. So, and you can go on one. It works now. Good grief. That is most peculiar. Okay. Uh, so, actually, no, I want to get that line back up. Just make sure. Uh, that's looking okay there. And when it gets to Seven Beach, that's looking fine there too. Okay. Uh, Seven Beach Station. You have a very small catchment area, but what we could do is we could add some steps in here. And... There we go. And that's increased catchment quite considerably. So that's good. Um, do you think we should put a bus stop in here? I think we will. Uh, a proper bus stop, do you think? Or not? Uh, 
That's it. That's it. If we put it around the, around the other way, it automatically picks up the connection from the platform, from the station building. Yep, that's good. Okay, and bus stops. We'll put... Well, we're almost in the Midlands up here. We are a bit north of Bristol. <laughs> so, uh, if we put you in... Oh, you've got to stop there, haven't you, actually? Uh, but it's only on one side of the road. Okay, which stop am I using? That looks like uh, one of those cheap ones. One of these. So if we put you in there. Is there another one? No. I think we should put one in down here as well. Okay, and does that mean we should put some streets in? It probably does. Oops, must remember, use the curve tool when you want curvy roads. Okay, a new bus route. Straight from there, to there, to there. But rather it went that way round, so we're going to need a waypoint. In there, excellent. Uh, where is it? There it is. Done. Ding. Ding dong, as someone used to say. Okay, and you will be called the Seven Beach Local. Uh, I'm going to find somewhere to buy some... Oh. There's a depot there. Yep, you'll do. Uh, passengers will use the lobby sound. We might as well. Uh, just three of them. We'll see how business picks up. We probably don't even need that many, to be honest. And we'll put you on the seven. Uh, there it is, the Seven Beach local. Okay, so that will give the people of Seven Beach and Pilning access to more locations. Uh, we do need to connect in Almondsbury, at least I think, to to that lit, that's that group there somehow. But uh, we will we'll deal with that in due course. Right, so let's have a look at you. Actually, I want to keep you in view. You are the precursor, and you're carrying 35. Actually, two of you will possibly do okay. What's your speed? What is your speed? Top, oh, there, it missed it. 50. Okay. Um, is that okay for us? Where is the precursor here? There you are. Oh, yeah, again, you're not that, that powerful. So I think if we can find a more powerful loco to go in there. Yeah, we've got you. 60. Okay, which wagons are we using? The six wheel. Uh, you're there. You only go 52. So that's, that's a complete replacement off the train, isn't it? Again, we're, we're looking at a fairly local route here, so we don't want to get too carried away. But then again, we could go up to 60. Can we go up to 60? Have we got a loco that will do that for us? We have got you. Oh, you are powerful. Expensive, as you'd expect, for that amount of speed and power. I think you're the best choice we're going, apart from you. Okay, uh, two four six a year for the two two two. Yeah, I think that one will do. Yeah, that's a bit more powerful. That's excellent. Okay, so we'll take you out. We will add you in. And these are the six wheel. I think we can get rid of those. 
we'll put the NUA four wheel in, which goes 60. Uh, so let's take one of you, one of you, and we'll have a couple of third classes. And if we stick you on the end, capacity of 40, that will do. A mediocre speed, but yeah, whatever. Okay, and we can now afford that. The maximum speed is 60, that's excellent. So let's modify that train. There he is. Sweet. Right, what we'll do, we will see how far uh, he's probably going to go to Avonmouth and then come back again. Oh, we got a new train at 75 mile an hour. Yeah, a bit too fast, I think, for what I want to do here at the moment. So he will probably go back that way, at which point I'm going to take out a lot more money as loan. Oh, you're going up to Seven Beach. Oh, excellent. Okay. Uh, ah, there are people waiting on our new bus service. There's nobody at the bus stop as yet, at the train station as yet. Nope, nobody wants to stop there just yet. But I'm sure they will in due course. Ah, looks like our local service is taking off as opposed to the uh, the Pilning route. Right, let's uh, take out some more loan. Uh, and we're going to need... I'm not sure how much this is going to cost to clone this train. The thing is, will it select that depot to clone it from? Let's hope so. Uh, not enough money. No, okay. Let's try that again. Where are you? Let me bring you over there. Can I clone it? I can't. Oh, and it's picked the correct depot. Excellent. Right. So what I want to do is send you back in the other direction, back to Clifton Down. Actually, we could do with a switch here. Where are you going? You're going that way. Actually, no, that will work. That will work. There's a double switch on that switch there, isn't there? Haven Mouth. Go back to Shirehampton. Go on. Shirehampton. I know you want to. No. Shirehampton. There you go. And you should then cross over onto that other line. Do I need a diamond in there? Do I need a... I don't really because uh, no, I, yeah, I do. No, I, no, I don't. I don't. I don't at all. That switch is fine. That's all we need. Right. So what we'll do? We'll just follow this lovely train here, and we'll call that a wrap. So thank you very much for joining me today in this episode of Transport Fever Two. Hope you've enjoyed what we've done. Really extending our line. It's only in reality a minor line, I suppose, a real sort of a suburban line. Um, in fact, it probably goes beyond the suburbs, but, you know, a local line for local people. But um, it's taking us into a new part of the map, sort of, and gives us uh, an opening to even more exciting things, which is going to be the expansion of Parkway uh, to across to Wales. Well, that's going to be exciting and interesting and expensive. But in the meantime... Why have you only picked up so few people? Oh, you want to go to Avonmouth now? Oh, it wants to go in the other direction. Oh, you people, honestly. <laughs> I don't know what they're like. Uh, right, so yes, thank you very much for joining me today. Hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, it'd be great to have a little bit of a like. Uh, or even better still, if you've got any thoughts, suggestions, recommendations, uh, or constructive advice in terms of... Um, the actual reality of laying tracks and routes and lines 
around this part of the world. It'd be great to hear from you. Just drop a note into the comments box below. And of course, if you've not already subscribed to the channel, you can do that now. And that way you'll know when I upload another one of these or any of my other Let's Play series. But from me, Ajax Post here in Transport Fever 2. Until the next time, bye bye for now.